Hi, I'm John. I'm an engineer by trade and also a specialist in fitness equipment. What we have here is an upright exercise bike and I'm just going to talk you through some general tips for how to put it together correctly. Um, obviously follow the manufacturer's instructions because there's differences with every bike. Um, and I'll also assume that you, you're able to work out how to put the pedals on in the seat. That's fairly straightforward. Some of the trickiest parts are to do with the mast and the electrical connection. So that's where we're going to start. This is the mast on this particular machine that sits onto this part of the frame here. And in it, there comes some wires which are pre-thread. Uh, but I've noticed they're only just long enough. Um, and what I'm concerned about is that if, by the time I get that up there and made this connection, I might lose the end of these wires somewhere down the hole here, which will give me a real problem. So I'm just going to take a little uh, cable tie or tie wrap. You could use an elastic band if you don't have any tie wraps and I'm just going to secure them just onto the frame at the top here. Uh, so this, this is, takes 5 or 10 seconds to do, but it can save you 10 or 15 minutes of fiddling around trying to find the, the cable. And you can see what I mean is now when I pull that end, these are staying nice and tight. Perfect. So first of all, I'm going to make my connection. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that and try, and try and balance this while doing the connection. That will be too unstable. I'm just going to rest it by the side of the machine, bring these connectors together and that gives me plenty of, plenty of light, plenty of time to be able to make sure I get these connectors together right. Making sure that I haven't got any bent pins. Uh, I can also check that I'm putting the connector together the right way. There's a plastic latch here on this one and a little tang that sticks up on the plastic there which the latch engages on. So I can tell which way it goes. And Let's push it in, listen for it clicking, which it did. And if you're not sure, you can just push on the latch, pull the connector out, double check, and then just push it back in, click, job done. So I'm happy with that. I can see the cables are nice and free, and now I can put the mast on. So at this point now, I'm just lifting it up, taking care not to stress the connection down here. I'm also just gonna make sure that the cable is nicely tucked away down in the frame. I don't want to trap it between the flange faces here. And then I can bring that round, line the holes up, get one of my bolts, and pop the bolt in. Just do that a few times, finger tight. And that's the tricky part of the job done. Now I can release it, everything's nice and safe. Obviously, if you're not comfortable doing that as a one-person operation, if you've got a friend who can give you a hand just to support that while you do the bolt, that makes life a whole lot easier. I'm just going to put these in and tighten these up. I'm using the spanner that's come with the bike. Uh, these are perfectly adequate. Uh, of course, you can use your own spanner if you've got your own toolbox. And that's fine. Not too much pressure. I want it nice and tight. But there's no need to lean too much of your body weight into it. It just wants to be nice and tight as you can comfortably do it. If you don't get them tight enough, what you'll find is that the mast will wobble. And you might also get a creaking or a squeaking noise as the metal faces rub together. And if you get that, just, just tighten them up a little more. Um, also, with regard to squeaking and uh, creaks, there's also a couple of fixings on the legs on the front and the back. It's always worth just checking those because, again, they can work loose or sometimes you just need to tighten them up again and that'll fix that problem. Now we can turn our attention to the top and the console. If you remember, I've already secured those wires, so I just need to take away my cable tie or maybe you used an elastic band or a bit of tape, whatever it was. Get that out of the way. Make sure your cables are free, which they are. And then we're, we can mount the console. So for this here, there's some connections I've got to be careful of. I need to make sure I get my connections around the right way and I don't get any bent pins. So the latch goes on the tang, pins nice and straight, click in, correct. And then with my smaller connections, sometimes these are 
there's like a one-way operation you can only get them into one socket uh, and sometimes they're not it, usually it doesn't matter which way around if that's the case sometimes they're color coded in which case match the colors up and when you're happy with the connections just feed any excess wire either back down into the console uh, back down into the uh, column of the machine or up into the console there's usually a void up in the back there that will take any stray wires and as you mount it just make sure that you're not going to trap any wires between the faces and it sh the console should sit nicely on its base like that and then with your screwdriver you can just push one of the screws in just loosely to start with and then we'll get the others in when you're tightening screws like this it's always best just to just to get them started make sure you don't cross thread them it's very difficult to overcome a problem like that so it's always worth just maybe starting the screws by hand if you can and then finish them off with a screwdriver but for the console just leave them loose because it allows you to maneuver the console a little bit just in case things don't perfectly line up just pop them in there roughly tight and the last one and you can feel if it's going in well which that one is and then when you're happy just tighten them up all up just like that and then you're good to go you can then finish off the bike put the rest of the plastic uh, covers on and then uh, you're good to go